Thank you very much, uh, Governor Kidero. As you may be aware, and Kenyans, whatever they are, <clears throat> the Supreme Court uh, so that we go back to electing the President of the Republic of Kenya. And from the ruling that was given, and the issues we had raised, it was clear that Raila's votes as a presidential candidate were stolen, manipulated, and for that reason, Uru was disqualified as having been elected as the president of Kenya. The Supreme Court ruled that the election should be held within 60 days. But what we have noticed now, and what Kenyans have noticed, is that IEBC, without consulting the stakeholders, that means Jubilee and NASA, they went ahead to declare 17th of October as the day that the runoff should be held. So we met this morning as Nairobi leaders and those who have been elected in Nairobi under the chairmanship of Governor Kidero and I myself as the representative of the presidential team, campaign team, to chart the way forward. So we are here to make sure that this time all around, and these are the plans that we have laid down. One, we must protect our presidential candidates' votes. We have laid down our strategies, which I cannot uh, uh, give them to you because that's our secret weapon. But all around, the day the election will be held, there will be no chance for Jubilee together with a uh, Fifaranga or computer, they will manage to steal or mess up with the fault. The other thing that we have agreed upon is all these elected members here. In their constituencies, they are going to coordinate the campaign together with the MCRs who has been elected there and the women representative here, Esther Pasaris. And this is going to be a campaign like that has never been seen before. And this time around, Raila Molodinga must get over 1.2 million votes because actually that is what he received and that is what was stolen. If you remember very well, Pilomena Mwilu, the deputy CJ, Aliulisa Swalimoja, ukienda kwa polling station, na unapewa karatasi sita sa kupika kura, na kura inaweza kuonekana ni moja tu ya rais. Zile zingine tano simeenda wapi? Sasa, ile mambo tumekubaliana hapa ni kwamba tutaangalia kwamba hakuna kura hata moja inaenda inje. So you are going to watch and witness that the campaign that is going to be staged in Nairobi, how serious it's going to be. And those are the comments we have for now. I think just to finalize this, Kenyans want justice. Nairobians want justice. And we can only have peace if there is justice. And what the Supreme Court did by delivering justice will ensure that we have peace in Kenya. And it's the responsibility of every Kenyan. And it's the responsibility of Nairobi, Nairobians, to contribute towards this everlasting peace by choosing the leader who will bring a difference, who will add value, and that person is none other than Raila Odinga. They gave it to him on the 8th, and we want them to give it to him the way they gave him on the 8th, on the 17th, or whichever date will be agreed on as the day of the rerun. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all. Yeah. Uh, with regards to this campaign that is starting at this particular time, uh, one of the reasons why we say things went as they did on the, August of, on the 8th of August is that we do not have agents. Mm -hmm. What is your plan on having agents everywhere in Nairobi? 
I think we, I think Mr. Mudama have just talked about that, that uh, we, we don't need to tell you what we'll do. And even if there's no agents, that's not license to steal. Yes. Yes. <laughs> do you steal because there's no agents? Your conscience should prick you. But who told you? Let, let me, who told you that we do not have agents? We had agents, but they were mistreated. They were chased away. They were locked out. So anybody with the perception that we did not have agents in every police station, that is wrong. It is the same as when Uhuru says, I want NASA and the Raila to be ready to accept the fantict of the court. Having in mind that with the money he's having in his pocket, he's going to bribe and the fantict will be in his favor. When it came out to be against his team, he's the same person who runs to call the, the, the CJ and his team, Wakora. Even Ruto has the capacity to call the CJ of the Republic of Kenya with the other judges, Wakora. But if you walk in the streets of Nairobi, having Ruto on the right side and Maranga on the left side, and you meet two people who have never seen them and ask them between the two, is Mkora here? You know what the, the person they pointed? It is the same Uhuru who is a beneficiary of the judicial system all over the world. The ICC is through the judges that sent the same Uhuru and the root of free. But today, because the funding is not favoring them, they have to, 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 to criticize them. It is the same judicial system that declared them winners in 2013. And that time, the judicial system was acceptable. But this time, because they were being found to be professional thieves, they are the ones now to say, how are Wakora? Excuse me. Please, Kenyans, let us learn how to stand for the truth. The truth is that we had agents, and they were locked out by the same people who are calling the, the, the judicial system Wakora. So what would you do to make sure that this time down they are not locked And Kidero will be going to court to challenge some Before Kidero, we have said we have laid down our strategies on now to stop them from messing up with our faults. Is that not enough? The hard Senator Mdama is to tell us. You yeah. say that uh, NASA and uh, yes, are going to lead campaigns in Nairobi. Yes, is the same going to be replicated in other parts of the country? It is going to be replicated in the other parts okay. of the country. Yes. I think, Murithi, you want me to answer. Yes. Justice will be done. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs>